Let's solve another problem using Vim. My goal here is to sum up most of these numbers. I say most because I only want to include numbers that have a symbol around their perimeter in the sum. So 467 here, uh, there's an asterisk in the bottom right corner, so that one should be included. But 114, if I look at this perimeter, there's no symbol in it, so that should not be included in the sum. There's actually only two numbers that should not be included in this little example data. 114 and uh, 58. Uh, none of those have a symbol around them. But the actual uh, input file is much larger. But we should, we should be able to use the smaller example to come up with a solution. The first thing I'm going to do is a find command with slash d and slash plus. Uh, and so slash d will match any digit. Slash plus makes it so that the match is not every single digit, but rather it, it matches by number, by entire number. And then I can use n and capital N to jump around to each of them. Next, let's think about how we want to be able to search each number's perimeter. And I'm also going to start a new uh, file on the left here. This is uh, something I'll just keep updating as the video goes. Uh, I'll just put everything we've done in here. And I'm going to just resize this a little bit so we have more room. Okay, so I can use uh, VIW to select these numbers no matter how long they are. And this is treating it as a text object. And if I escape, you'll see my cursor is sitting at the end of the number. So one thing I could do here is set a mark. I'll do MA. And this I can use later on to reference uh, where the end of the number is. I'll select the number again with VIW. And this time I can hit O while in visual mode and that will move me to the other end of the selection, which is the start of the number. I want to select the perimeter of the number, so I'll go to the top left with uh, HK. Then I'll go into visual block, control V. I can jump to the column and the row of the mark that I set earlier with backtick A. Then I'll do JL to move to the bottom right corner of the number. Now I have it, so I'll just yank it. Now that 35 is, along with the perimeter around it is sitting in my unnamed register. Uh, what do I want to do with it? I'll just throw it at the top of the file and give myself a bit of room to transform it a little bit. I'll do GG followed by a capital O to get me into insert mode. And I'll just add a couple empty lines. I'll jump back up a couple of lines with 2K. Now I can paste with a capital P so my cursor stays put. Then I'll highlight everything and join it onto line with a G capital J. Now that I have a single number along with everything from its perimeter onto one line. It should be easy to figure out if there's a symbol or not. That part will be next, but first I want to streamline uh, what we just did so that I can repeat it for all numbers, all of the numbers in this uh, block of text. I'll be recording a macro to do that, but first I wanna reformat this input data a little bit so that the macro is a little bit easier. Notice that the number I used as an example, 35, that was in the middle of the, the text here. But some numbers are on the edge, are in the edges of the text, and that's actually going to mess up this macro if we don't do something about it. So I'm going to just add edges of just periods along every single edge of this input data. That way no number will be on an edge anymore. Let's start with the left side first. So GG0 to ensure I'm at the top and leftmost position. Control V, capital G, capital I, period, and escape. Now I'll do the top line by just duplicating the row and then replacing everything with periods. YY, capital P, capital V, R, period. Now I'll do basically the same thing on the very bottom line. So capital G, YY, P, capital V, R, period. Finally, I'll do the right side edge. So that's dollar sign, control V for visual block, GG, capital A, period. Escape. I'm also going to disable uh, wrap scan, no wrap scan, which I'll hopefully explain a little bit later. Okay, now no number will ever be on an edge, but another thing I want to do uh, is create some kind of separation between the portion of the file where I'll be like yanking from and the portion of the file where I'll be pasting it into and like reformatting stuff. I'll just jump to the top of the file and I'll type start. Now I'm ready to do what we did before, but this time as a macro. Since we already talked about all this, I'm just gonna go a little bit faster. 
QQ to begin recording, and then I'll do my uh, slash D slash plus VIW escape MA VIW O escape HK control V back tick A J L Y G G capital O escape 2K capital P Now I'll jump back to my mark with back tick A, and finally I can stop recording with Q. I have no idea how many times I need to replay this macro, so I'll just pick a big number, uh, 9999 at Q. Now let's jump up to the top, see what we got. We got 598 at the top and then 467, so 467 is here, and then 598 is the last number, so I think we got them all, and they're all formatted on one line. The reason I disabled wrap scan earlier was because uh, when I used the search command in my macro, I didn't want it to go past uh, the very last instance or the, the last um, line in the file and wrap around. But we no longer need to have that so we can enable it again. Set wrap scan. So I no longer need anything below this start delimiter that I made. I only need stuff above it, so I can just go ahead and D capital G. Next, I just need to get rid of any lines that consist of anything other than just digits and periods. I can use the inverse global command to do that along with the D command. So V is like G except for it does kind of the opposite. And then what, we, what do we want to search for? I want to search for uh, any digits and also any uh, periods. I think I need to escape the period. And I can use the caret here to say that I actually don't want those. And I can hit it with the D underscore. So now if you look here, it got rid of two lines. Yeah, so 58 and third and uh, what, what were they? 58 and 114. Now those look like they're gone. And it says two fewer lines. These lines remaining are the ones that should be included in the sum. We got rid of the two that shouldn't be. So next I can get rid of everything except the actual numbers with a substitute command. So I can do a range of the entire buffer, substitute, and here I want to target um, numbers, but then say anything that's not a number and just replace it with nothing and make that global. Now for my favorite substitute command, a lot of times in these videos, um, I found myself needing to join multiple lines of numbers onto one line with a plus in between them. The way I've done it in the past is like a multi-step process, but here is a substitute command that seems to be able to do it in one fell swoop. We'll start off with a simple version. So substitute new line character, replace it with a uh, plus sign. This almost works, but you can see the very last character there it put a plus at the end, and I don't want that because I'll break the expression register. So let me undo. We're not going to do that. We're going to do something a little more tricky, slash n, just like before. Then I can use a non-capturing uh, group, so backslash percent sign, and then you open some parentheses, and I need to escape this last parenthesis here. So in here, I can target the dollar sign which means the end of the line. And then I can use the like negative, what is it? The negative look ahead, assertion, whatever. And now if I replace it with a plus sign, it does everything except the very last one. So that's awesome. You guys know the drill from here. We'll uh, see dollar sign to get everything in the unnamed register. Control R equals for the expression register. Control R double quote to paste it in there. We'll hit enter. I'm pretty sure that's the right answer for the example input. So now let's try it out on the real thing. I've got it in my clipboard here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and paste it. I'll save that. Now let's just source what we have on the left here. Um, this is our solution, everything we've been typing. Let's source that against uh, the input file. So um, right now I'm in the input.txt file and I'm gonna say so with a bang uh, solution. And this takes quite a while to finish, so we'll just be patient. Sit here for a second. Cross our fingers.
Looks like we crashed NeoVim. Let's uh, let's try that again. Let's try it uh, this way. So vi input.txt script in with, uh, what did I call it? A solution. Fifty two zero thirteen five. Fifty two zero one three five. Yep, that's it. For some reason Neovim couldn't handle it.